my name is Adriana and I am a multi-fandom girl and today, after a month, I'm back. A lot of stuff has happened in the past month that I've left. Like I am just gonna take literally a minute to fangirl a bit about everything that's happened. Well, essentially I've read three wonderful books and I'm rereading another wonderful book because if y'all have not read these three books, honey, what you waiting for? Step into my candy store. But like, okay, it's just awesome. The, the, the Song of Achilles, okay, so all of these are like wonderfully gay. And if that does not like convince you already, like what sort of reader are you? No shame though, no shame. Read these books. I guess I just wanted to say that because I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to because I don't know when I'm going to film another video. And I'm rereading Autobiography, the book's there. Um, I'm rereading Autobiography. This is what I have right now. Yeah, today I'm going to be ranking Uncle Rick's series because, yeah, I finally read them all. I am I'm finally going to be able to rank them all, like the series, not each book because you know, I've pretty much forgotten about um, what some of them are all about. But I do have like this general idea of each series and so I can talk about them. And I'm also going to be mentioning my favorite and my least favorite book from each of them, if there are any. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. I'm going to go from my least favorite series to the one I like the most and if you know me at all then I don't think it's gonna be totally difficult for you to guess what I'm about to say right now um, and play along with me like what are your favorite series by Uncle Rick what are your favorite least favorite books tropes representation everything just like leave it down in the comments please do like I get so excited when people comment um, anyway yeah so the fifth series and that is the series that I liked the least. It was the King Chronicles. I read it in November and it's not bad. I like it. It's Uncle Rick so of course I'm gonna like it. It was just like a little little dragging at times. I did appreciate the African-American representation but I did not appreciate so much was that by Sadie being whiter than Carter like in fan arts and like official ones too, like in Read by Jordan, like or that Instagram account. That's canon, and they totally just whitewash Sadie, and and I do not um like that. So like, please stop. Thank you. I mean, she's still um half black. Her father's black, and she cannot be like totally white, even if she's white passing. Anyway. Oh, right. Also, Sadina Nubis. What the hell? Isn't it that, like, a bit exaggerated? Like, okay, I uh, can accept Frasel, Frank, and Hazel. I know some people don't, but it's like three years difference. Okay, that's fine. But Anubis and Sadie? That's like 5,000 year old god with a 13 year old girl. I think that's a bit too much. And yeah, I guess that's everything I have to say about the King Chronicles. I do not have like a favorite or a least favorite book. Um, they were both equally as normal for me, I guess. Normal being Uncle Rake, which is still pretty good, but I sort of expected a bit more. But anyways, next up, and hopefully people won't hate me because of what I'm about to say. Um, we got Percy Jackson and the Olympians. And don't get me wrong, from number four, that is Percy Jackson onwards. Like, they're all five star reads, okay? So yeah, Percy Jackson. It was the first series that I read by, by Uncle Rick. And it was this series that got me, like, seriously got me to reading because I had read Harry Potter. And I guess from that, that did mark, like, an before and after in my life. But Percy Jackson was like, you know, I like Percy Jackson better than Harry Potter, of course. And 
like Percy Jackson, just the friends that I made that I made because of that. Hello, dumplings. Like, okay, so a friend of mine introduced me to Percy Jackson, and thanks to Percy Jackson, like we bonded a lot over that. I found book two. Hello, because of Percy Jackson. Um, like I don't know, five years ago, it, it's crazy. And then I made a lot of friends because of Percy Jackson, like found so many other books because of Percy Jackson. Had I not read Percy Jackson, like it wouldn't be me. I wouldn't be me. So, so I had, I do this series a lot and I love all of the books so much, but it had, if I had to choose, probably Sea of Monsters would be the book I liked the least and the Last Olympian, obviously, the book I liked the most, were a wonderful ending. Also, Percy Jackson, like the second funniest narrator. If you've read Magnus Chase, well, you know who the first one is, right? So, Percy is my baby. He was my first fictional crush, and I love him so very much. And also, just the fact that he, just like every other demigod, except Frank, but um, that he has. ADHD and dyslexia and all of that, like that sort of representation is really important, I think, because like there are so many people with those disorders that have been diagnosed or not diagnosed, but they are totally ignored. There's not a lot of representation of that sort and and Rick Riordan did bring that, so I really appreciate it. So we're halfway through already because I mean there's just, this is just top five, so of course we're gonna get through this pretty quickly. And now we got the Trials of Apollo series, and I feel like I would have liked this series even more because I love it. They were all like five star reads. I love them all so very much. Apollo's my baby. Um, but I read these books um as they were getting published and released, and so I was like once a year. And by the time the following book got released, I had pretty much forgotten everything about the previous book. So let alone the ones before it. So it was like really good. Apollo's like oh, again a hilarious narrator, and uh, I love him so much. And can we just talk about the wonderful LGBTQ plus representation that we got here? Like I'm a sucker for anything gay, let alone like just yes, yes, yes. So we got Apollo, who's obviously bi, and we got. Uh, Solangelo, we're live, like, OTP, I love him so very much, and The Hidden Oracle, which is, by the way, one of my favorite books, it's, um, The Hidden Oracle and Tower of Nero are my favorite books, and then, if I guess I had to choose one, the one that I like the least would be The Burning Maze, but because of Jason, because <laughs> I love Jason, of course I do. I know there's people who don't like him as much as Percy. I don't like him as much as Percy either, but I'm not going around comparing the two characters because they're both totally unique and they have all of them, their flaws. Uh, their flaws. I, I did not like Jason's death, obviously. Back to Paul, he's like my... So I'm not going to say my favorite narrator because I'm really don't know who to choose, but he's definitely the most relatable one. In and with Reina especially, okay, so I stand that queen, badass Reina, I love her so very much. Uh, but when Apollo like asked her out, I guess he did ask her out. Um and how Reina like laughed at him and rejected him that badly. I, I felt really bad for him because I feel like if I ever mustered up the courage to do anything of the sort, which I would never do. Yeah, so I relate to Apollo a lot in that way because we're both pretty um, messed up in the love department. <laughs> and now top two. Um, so I guess it's pretty obvious, right? We got Heroes of Olympus and we got Magnus Chase. My second favorite is Heroes of Olympus. And I'm gonna like fangirl and vent about Magnus Chase in a while, but okay, first of all, Heroes of Olympus, like freaking shade. Um <laughs> Heroes of Olympus. Hey, never made any real this game. Anyway, Taylor's a fun. Anyway, whatever. Uh, I'm not focusing on anything right now. But yeah, Heroes of Olympus. Again, um just I loved it so very much. Like Okay, so I'm gonna start talking about my favorite and least favorite book, and then I guess I'm gonna go from there. Um, my favorite book was House of Hades, cause I mean we got Perry Cabeth in freaking hell, like Tartarus. 
That means a long time. Anyway, I'm not thinking straight. Anyway, <laughs> so I guess what I like so much about this series is how we get like so many new characters that I love so much. And like they're all together. So my favorite characters from last series, uh, but Grover. I love Grover. We needed more Grover, but anyway. We got Percy, and we got Animus, and we got Nico, and then we also got uh, Leo, who, who became an all-time favorite. He's another relatable um, character that I love so very much. Team Leo, baby. This series also has like so many like iconic moments, I guess, especially with Jason, like the stapler, obviously, and Briggs. Um, and also like obviously Tartarus, and oh, I have a judo flipping Percy, of course. And it was so addictive and it was hilarious and I loved seeing like everyone's point of view. Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. So when I read these books like in summer, I read it in summer and I loved it so much. So it was August last September. Why did Alex Fierro, my baby, not appear until book two? I, I thought that he, she would appear in like moment one because like i oh i was already in love with alex when be even before i read the book i just like gender fluid representation yes i stand people say it's great yes i stand magnus j is my pan baby pan folks like bye i don't want you here <laughs> like yes like i i need like this and then I read book one, I was like, oh wait, where's Alex? Where's Alex? And I and I texted my friends who obviously read um, Magnus Chase before I did, because I'm always um, late to parties and maybe I don't even show up. <laughs> um, and they were like, oh yeah, yeah, he, she appears in book two. I'm like, oh well, I guess I'm gonna have to get through the first book and that's why it's my least favorite book, even though I still absolutely loved it, um, till I get to read, um, about my favorite character but yes it's my comfort character of course how would he she not be my favorite comfort like character like yes more representation um this time we got like muslim representation which wonderful like they do say it's wonderful uh like so I, i'm gonna obviously trust a muslim who have read the this book um but yeah 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 yeah. like Samira is such a badass and I love her so very much and just like I loved how like Uncle Rick took like this scene where Magnus asked Samira about her thoughts on on Alex Fierro and because obviously like he didn't know what her religion said about gender fluidity or or just like the community in general and, and like I love Samira's response to like it was something along the lines of yeah he she's family I can't like like I don't know how he she feels and I'm like stuff so I'm like no not gonna go around and hate because like there's much more important stuff in the world than to like hate on people and like shake them and stuff like yes queen like yeah like yeah anyway yeah I, I guess I just wanted to take a moment to 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 say that and, and if you are somehow um um homophobic and you're in my channel or something or or pinphobic or, or something phobic like you can just like leave or 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 think about Samira's words and actually rethink everything in, in your morality or something it was like also so addictive like of course all of Rick Burton's books are like you can't put them down and, and you're on the edge of your seat and you read them in one sitting but like this, this series, like Magnus Chase, I could not put it down. I downloaded a PDF on my on my high school's um laptop, and whenever we weren't doing like a lot of important stuff in class or something, I just I'll just pull it out and like and read. And I want to read about the love of my life, so wonderful. Finally, finally. I'm going to start talking about how uh, Magnus Chase is the best narrator. I know he like, I know I got this from someone's post on Instagram, so credit to them. I don't actually know if they're like one of my friends or, or something or from just some random Percy Jackson fan account. Um, but yeah, Magnus Chase speaks in sarcasm and I love that. And I literally have a presentation for Slides Night. I just, I love Slides Night so much. 
on why facial characters are better than um, in real life people. Um, yeah, and I, I have that. Like, I need funny people because I'm not funny. And, and, and like, I, I need them to, to be extra funny. So we complement each other. And in Magnus Chase is like perfect for that, so just saying. Anyway, yeah. Um, my favorite book in the series is The Ship of the Dead, the last one, because also there's this chapter that says something about Alex Piero, it my, it's my face. And I remember I posted it on a story on Instagram, it's like, I seriously hope it means what I what it wanted to mean. <laughs> and, and guess what? It actually did. Like, Uncle Rick, I did not know you were that sort of dirty minded writer and of course we got Fierro Chase actually like canon there so of course I was gonna love it and yeah I guess this is it for today's video if you liked this make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and hit the post notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video yada 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 you'll, you'll know the drill um and leave any sort of comment down below i will read them i get like so excited when people comment um and i hope that you are having a wonderful day life um, drink water okay and wear a mask because pandemic's not good okay and see you next time bye